It's no secret at this point that, like the sheltered kid with his new color guard girlfriend on prom night, my Scott Field guide was a bit premature. Really, I should have seen them coming. Uh, the variants, I mean. I should have known you can't talk about the assassination of Bob Kennedy without the mention of the snub nose. With update 1.7.2, Crytek added three new variants to the Scott Field family. The Spitfire, the Precision, and the Swift. All of the Scott Fields have the same damage, effective headshot range, and muzzle velocity, but each variant has a niche. The Spitfire is a medium ammo competitor to the Officer Pistol. The Scott Field Precision is the middle ground between the Nagant Precision and the Dolch Precision. And the Scott Field Swift is an oddly specific nod to my girlfriend's top artist of 2021, according to Spotify. It's also a pistol with speed loaders. So let's tackle these one by one. The Spitfire, like its aviation counterpart, will bang up anyone close enough to feel the heat of its design. What it loses in handling, it gains in the ability to send medium lead at, pardon me, Fuck you, speeds. Something about the speed and power of this gun feels like attacking with a vendetta. You might notice the worse handling at further ranges, but up close, headshots are still easy on unsuspecting targets. The Spitfire can be dual wielded, however, at this rate of fire, it's pretty strong for a single slot pistol. If you usually take the officer, as I've recommended in most of these guides, then the Spitfire is a good alternative. Just be aware you'll have one less bullet to fire before reloading. Also, unlike its aviation counterpart, the Spitfire might have a brawler variant in the future, which you can see on the 1.7.2 dev stream thumbnail on their YouTube channel. As far as I'm aware, only the Japanese Zero was fitted with brass knuckles. Why else would they crash like that? The Scott Field Precision is a two-slot medium ammo gun. Like the GameStop short, you might become a little bit obsessed with this stock because it'll reward those diamond hands that can keep her steady. The Scott Field Precision has better handling and a faster rate of fire than the base version, so at medium ranges, anyone with a little patience and a steady hand can land those crucial shots. In the Scott Field video and the Spectre video, I recommended the Scott Field as a potential secondary for shotguns. If you have Quartermaster, the Stock Field might be an even better pick that is pretty cheap and has the ammo and stability for fights outside the shotgun's range. And in up close engagements, the bonus and fire rate is enough to put people down. And speaking of stocks, I am so sorry to do this, but we have to talk about money. More specifically, I am very excited to announce the sponsor for today's video and the first one on the channel. Today's sponsor is Caldwell. Caldwell is a premium firearms manufacturer with products trusted by the very best in shooting, including the United States government. And trust me when I say that few entities know shooting better than the United States government. The most recent model, the Caldwell Pax, is the standout pistol among medium weapons and the choice for cowboys hunting for a little piece. Whether you want to sell the West or give people tetanus with a rusty claw attachment, the Caldwell Pax skips out on frivolous features like stocks and double action triggers in favor of a simple and reliable platform you can depend on. So as you go to select your next pistol, remember, Please Don't Forget Me has never sounded this good. As a special offer for my viewers alone, you can use the code REALAD in the official Hunt Discord to claim 10% off your next Caldwell Packs purchase. Once again, that is REALAD. Thank you Caldwell for your sponsorship. I'm just kidding, please don't get me in trouble. Okay, if you skipped that ad, welcome back. And if you watched it, I really appreciate that, thank you. Be sure to use that offer code because I only recommend products that I would actually use. So the final Scott Field variant, the Scott Field Swift, is for Swifties around the world. Let me tell you, this gun is for the fearless. Other guns have been the kings of fanning, but it is the Scott Field's turn to speak now. So if you have fanning or plan to dual wield, the Scott Field Swift has a speed loader that reduces its reload from 9 seconds to 4 seconds. This is great for people that want to paint the town red, like Kony 2012. 
The only catch is that any unspent ammo is lost when you reload and Bullet Grubber can't help you here. But the great part is that it is still the full Scott Field. So whether the range is 19, 89 meters, you can still preserve your reputation as a lethal sharpshooter. So if you are a lover of fanning and dual wielding, despite the recent nerfs, well, the Scott Field to you has probably earned its place in folklore. And for people that evermore want cool mechanics that force a sacrifice for some sort of gain, the Swifty is a cool pistol. So which of these new weapons should you use? For my choice, just like if I picked up battle wrapping, obviously I would spit fire, but for dual wielding and fanning, the Scottfield Swift is a compelling choice too. The Scottfield variants give players more options based on what they intend to pair the Scottfields with. The Scottfield Swift is ideal for dual wielding, and the Spitfire complements a long ammo rifle or the Winfield. The Scottfield Precision is great for some extra range and stability. I think it's hamstrung that it doesn't have a scope yet, but maybe a sniper variant is in the works. It's also nice that the special ammo options are still the same, so if you plan to bring the Vetterly with FMJ, you can still boost your ammo pool with the Scottfields. So you might be wondering at this point, all this is great, but why make the video? Well, I liked the first Scottfield video, but I made a mistake. I conclude the video by saying this. It's basically a cheaper PAX, and anyone picky enough to notice the difference probably won't be satisfied by anything anyways. Before, I viewed the Scott Field and the PAX as pretty interchangeable, but now, with these variants, I think you would be better served by deciding which Scott Field fits your build better than taking a PAX. So, before we end this video, I just want to revisit one more section of the first Scott Field video that I think everyone should keep in mind as they transition to the Scott Field family. So, here it is. It's also really fun to promote the Scott Field when you kill someone trying to use the uppercut. Should have took the Scott Field, that is, until you find out they are part of the dev team. Oh no, Nixa, I'm sorry. And this doesn't really add anything to the discussion. I just wanted Nixa to remember. The Spitfire might be better than the uppercut though. <laughs> 